Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I'm Penge and welcome back to Infection Free Zone where we are back in Northampton trying to deal with a zombie apocalypse. However, things might look a little bit different to where we left off last time and that's because when I came to load our save file from the end of the previous video, the game took one look at it and went no, absolutely not. I am having none of that, thank you very much. I've been updated since you created that save file and it is now completely meaningless to me away with you. But because I did not want to lose our adventures here in Northampton. I wanted to continue the tale of Northampton and the zombies. I've replayed the game up until the point where we left off at the end of the previous part. I think we're at pretty much the same time and also the same day. So when we play an in-game day, a sort of a month goes by, but I think we've kind of got things more or less as it was. I've kind of tried to keep things sort of faithful to the original, if you like. So we've got the HQ over here on Northampton Market Square, got sort of housing over here and here and over in that corner as well. We've got two warehouses over here now. We've got an extra warehouse in. We've got the two existing defense towers and one's being put together over there. We've got the three fields. I think really, the only big change is that we don't have a little kind of barricade thing over there and we haven't set that to be our cookhouse. We've got a cookhouse going on over here. But other than that, I think it's kind of pretty much the same. We've gone over here for a load of trees. Look, we've got a few people over here chopping down the final trees. I think actually to begin today, we might want to look at getting some more trees cut down. Although we do have 105 wood. Now, one thing that I did take advantage of upon replaying everything was that very early on, because I was following the tutorial stuff, we had a load of people that were just sort of hanging around in the headquarters, not doing anything. And you know, at the time we were sending our squads out, they were looking at things and you know, we were doing what we're being told, but those people were just sort of sitting about doing nothing. And a few people in the comments did point that out. They did say early on, you had loads of people just being idle. You could have sent them out. And yes, in hindsight, I could have done. And now that's what we did in our kind of, you know, alternate timeline here. So yeah, we sent loads of people out to go and gather wood nice and early. We've got wood from all over the place, some wood over here, I think there was. And we've gathered metal and such like. So they have been busy, which I think is why we do have quite a lot of building resources. But I think... We've got 15 kind of idle people. Maybe could we gather metal from here? So get those two sort of street lights. That'd be quite useful. And then I imagine down here as well, along drapery, there's got to be some, uh, there's got to be some street lighting down there. So hang on a minute where I gather metal. Um, any metal that's kind of around, anything in that area, actually, grab some metal. And then have we got, ah, hang on. There's a few sort of straggler trees over here. So we'll grab some wood from there as well, just to keep people busy. So now there is one person just sort of sitting about being idle, which is a lot better. So here we go. Let's get time ticking on. Um, I think we've got more or less the same missions as well. So we haven't been to go and find the technical books. Fortunately, they're over here still. They're right next to us. The game has sort of designated that same building as where we need to go to get the books. And we still need to build a cookhouse. Incoming transmission. Okay. And I see, yeah, things are happening in slightly different orders. So I think in our previous run, we saw that already. We saw that message. But now this time around, we're just getting that. So, um, okay, let's prepare. I don't know how to prepare if they come into the buildings from underground. But uh, yeah, we'll just prepare. We'll say we're prepared and that'll make people feel safe. Hooray. Uh, right. OK, so I think we have got a decent amount of food. And then if we do get the cookhouse in, that's going to be really helpful, isn't it? That's going to be very, very good in providing even more food. Um, so what are the teams doing? You lot, what's going on? Um, yeah, we've got somebody with the sort of assault rifle thing. So if you... There's food there, actually, look. There's food in there. So if you guys nip over there, and I think we are trying to go through here, that was what they were trying to do. They scavenged, uh, what was that, 17% of that building. And I imagine, because of its size, that's going to have some quite good stuff in. And I have tried to sort of, sort of scavenge the same buildings that we did last time. So I've not gone too far afield. I don't think last time we had all those done. But we've got all those sorted out now, which is quite handy. But, uh, oh, hang on. There's some stuff over there that I have overlooked. Okay, so we might need to nip into there and grab some food and some ammunition. Very useful. And there's food over here as well and fuel. Right, okay. So I think maybe once that's done, once we've gone through the big building over there, which, I mean, it was once upon a time. 
that was called Peacock Place. That was like a, it was another little sort of mini shopping centre. So that was quite a big, big-ish shopping centre, like a mall, I suppose you could call it. And that was like a little one. And they weren't really connected. They weren't connected up, but that was a little one. But um, yeah, that kind of, um, that fell into disrepair, if you like, quite a few years ago now, before before covid i think so um so yeah that's been sort of idle for ages but yeah in this game what does it say it is oh just abandoned which i suppose is sort of technically correct so right there we go so you guys look through there and how are you guys doing over here you found some food okay pretty good right knit back grab that food that ammunition bring that back over here and that's going to be very handy um okay maybe we could look ahead a little bit here oh they need a gun they're lacking some sort of firepower. Okay, we do need to find some sort of, I don't know, the secret Northampton armory. Can we find any kind of weapons anywhere? Do we have to go slightly further afield to find sort of new shooty guns? I can't see on the scavenge mode icons any kind of shooty guns or anything. I can see plenty of food around, which is good. You know, food is good. That means we're not going to starve to death, but we could possibly do with some shooty guns but i can't see any marked on the map so it's going to be a potluck thing is it okay right fine we'll have to try our luck and just sort of hope that we happen across some firearms um i think though maybe whilst we've got people sort of idle now possibly come down to here let's grab another shelter i think another shelter might be quite a good idea um i mean where could we put that maybe if we put that here so pop a shelter just there. Um, if we could get the cookhouse done, which would be perfect, I think we can put a squad into the cookhouse and then we can have another squad kind of over here somewhere. So the towers can shoot zombies that kind of come this way and then we can get the squad in here shooting zombies that sort of come through here and they can defend that shelter. That I think is what we might do. And then also, do we want to get ourselves a sort of, where was it? Like a, a sort of medical thing. Where was that? Can we put on oh, med bay? Oh, ah, okay, yes. We haven't had people injured enough to require a med bay yet. Um, I don't think the message has popped up. Oh, no, no, that's why. That's why we haven't got medical care. We haven't got medical care yet. Okay, um, right. You guys come over here then. So you lot run into, say, uh, maybe that building there. Run into that building there because the tower's here can deal with many zombies and then you guys go into that um that storage building you go into there so that should give us some pretty good coverage on the zombies a few people in the comments said can you not just have your guys going to scavenge at night time i mean in theory yes it's theoretically possible but i would say it's not very advisable because you know all it takes is for you to be say over here and for two or three groups of zombies to come along and swarm you and then you are a zombie's breakfast. So I don't think we'll do that. I think at night time, we shall play nice and safe and we shall make sure that everybody is in a building because that seems quite sensible. I think maybe it's got a little bit cold for the fields. Oh dear. Okay, right. So our cookhouse, I think we do have, we have got some grain. We've got grain. So hopefully, hopefully, oh no. Oh no. Chief, did you hear that? There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. No, I didn't. That's nothing. Get ready. Get ready, everybody. This could be quite bad, couldn't it? Get ready to defend the zone. Okay, right. How are we doing, everybody? You've got all new people now, by the way. We've got all new people. So um, in Geek Squad, we have Jerry Young. We've got Ryan Wright. We've got Jane Taylor. And we have Dennis Price. And then in Cupboard Squad, we've got Barbara Roberts. It's good that we have a Barbara on board. I'm happy about that. Lisa White. They've both got amazing hair, by the way. And then we've got Angela Harris. And then Russell Carter. Okay. And they, yeah, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. I don't think anybody's been sort of overly injured. They, some people did take a knock, I think. But I think for the most part, they're sort of okay. Um, nothing much going on. Nothing much going on. It isn't that late. So, right, run time on pretty quickly. Let's just try and get through the night, shall we? Let's just get through. There are many zombies just kind of pootling about, but they're not really coming toward us. They're damaged. 
both of those zombie sort of, I don't know, hordes, troops, units, whatever, they've taken damage, but they're not at full strength. And here we go, we can fire at them, the towers can fire at them, the guys over here can fire at them. Nope, they can't move next, oh nope, hang on, yep, you guys, move next door, and then you can probably shoot at the zombies over there. Okay, oh hang on a minute, pause time. You guys, get back into this building, so get back over here. Are they going to attack that building? No. I wonder if... I wonder if... Um, since I've sort of redone the, the sort of our game, I've not seen the zombies attack buildings that are under construction. I've only seen them attack buildings that are finished. So maybe because that building isn't properly up and running, the zombies still see it as a derelict building and sort of leave it alone. I'm not sure. But I think that might be the case. I think that might be the case. Although, I think they did just climb on that building. So maybe I'm talking a load of old nonsense. Who knows? It would not be the first time. We're doing okay, though. We are picking off the zombies quite well. Um, yeah, we've got our squad in there firing. And the, tow the towers are doing a grand job. The towers are doing a very good job. Uh, we do need some more guns, though. I would like to build another tower, if we could, and put it over here. But, um, yeah, we haven't got enough guns. So the people can be in the tower... And they can just look at the zombies and go, cooey, hi. <laughs> but it's not going to do much good. I don't think waving at the zombies is quite as effective as shooting them in the head. Which, you know, is what you're supposed to do with a zombie, isn't it? That's kind of the old rule. Um, right, okay, so run time on quickly. It's not going to be too long until the sun comes up and the zombies all clear off. Ah, right. There is a big group of them coming along. If the sun does come up... While they're attacking, I think they flee to the nearest building, but I think we're going to finish them off. Anyway. Yeah, there we go, look. They've been picked off, and the so the key to when we know it's safe is when all our people just run outside. So, what time is it? There we go. 6.45 in the morning, and here we go. Right, uh, boss, it's been a rough night. Something must have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty. If more and more come, our chances will be really low. We will show them. We will prevail. We will hide. <laughs> <laughs> one of those answers is not like the others. This one is bold. This one is bold. This one is less bold. Um, we will prevail. I like that. That sounds good. That sounds kind of you know, inspiring and dramatic. Rather than saying, we'll hide. We'll run away from the zombies. Okay, right. So what do we do now? I think then, let's get you guys. Oh, you've got loads of resources. Uh, you drop them off, please. And then you haven't got anything. So you go back over here to sorting that out. That's going to be handy. Oh, crikey, it's not, it's not doing space bar his paws anymore for some reason. And maybe because I'm in the building thing. Maybe because I'm in there. Right, and then you guys get over to... I notice here there's some tools. So maybe if we go into there, grab some tools, and then nip next door and get the ammunition. I think we're okay for ammo. But yeah, food, food is going to be quite useful as well if we could grab some food. But I'm hoping... There's going to be a lot of very, very fancy things over there in that giant shop because it's very big and I would like to think they could find some good stuff. Uh, in the meantime, where can we send our people that is not a bajillion miles away? I do not want to send them too far away. So hang on. If we gather wood from there, that's OK. Uh, wood, we're OK for wood. We're okay for a lot of wood right now. It's kind of bricks and tools and things that we need. Um, how about we gather some more metal then? If we just go, do you know what? Anything over here, grab anything. I think there's some street lights and some cars and that's kind of it. That's a little bit naff, isn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> there's not that much around. There's not too much around. Um, yeah, if we could prioritize the cookhouse... With, yeah, with winter coming up, we could make use of the grain that we've got. That'd be quite handy. But I don't think they are doing that very quickly. Okay, right. It's fine. I'm sure they'll get round to it eventually. But there we go. So we've got loads of very busy people gathering metal and wood and various other bits and bobs. People building down here, which is very good. Yeah, two workers on that one. And oh, three out of 18. Could we put... Oh, botherations. Uh, Chief. We found some medical supplies. They'll definitely come in handy. Now we'll be able to give first aid to the wounded. But if we want to help people more efficiently, we'll need to build a med bay. Okay, right. There's that message then. Okay, so yeah, we hadn't seen the, um, we hadn't found medical supplies before. Okay, right. That's quite a lot of food. That's quite good. Knit back over here. Pick up the medical supplies. Drop them off into here. Oh, that was a load of ammunition as well. 
has a load of ammo there. That was fantastic. Right. Okay. So you've had a look around there. Where do we go now? I think maybe. Let's check this out here, shall we? I mean, yeah, it says restaurant on the side. It's not a restaurant. This is All Saints Church. This is a very, very, in, in real life, this is a very beautiful, very old church building in Northampton. It's very lovely. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully there's going to be some good stuff in there. It does say restaurant on the side, which would imply there should be food in there, which is good. You know, food is fine. We like finding food. But um, yeah, I do hope there's something else in there. Um, you have got tools. Okay, so nip next door, pick up the ammunition from that building, because that's going to be useful. Um, oh, crikey. There's still some more left behind. Okay, take that back to headquarters. You guys are making the slow search through there. Yeah, so if you guys pop that back into HQ, that's quite good. Uh, yeah, and then run back over here. Nope, hang on. You guys run back over there and pick up more ammo because more ammo is never a bad thing. Uh, yep, just sort of one lot, but that's okay. Right, drop that off back at home. And then I think what we will do is, I noticed over here, whilst looking around, um, yeah, there is a teaching facility over here. I mean, in real life, unlikely. This is kind of uh, one of the big shopping streets in Northampton. It does have kind of statuey things on it. So some exciting statues going on. But uh, if you look down here, there are some books. We've got a teaching facility and we could potentially find some scientific materials, which could be quite useful. So we'll go along there. There's loads of books around, actually. There's some in there and there's some in there, some in there. I noticed there were some over here as well. There's going to be loads in there, look. Okay, that actually is quite good. Oh, look at that. Look at that little parade of buildings there. That could be very good as well. There's fuel in there got no idea what building that's supposed to be but okay well we're getting kind of away from the sort of Northampton centre and more into the kind of you know the sort of terrace streets and things that surround it but yeah, there's plenty going on but right let's go back over here then because yeah we're sending them out although actually hang on a minute I didn't realize the time I didn't realize the time also I don't know where we are where's all our people <laughs> where's the middle um yeah, you lot, don't go out there right now because it's going to get late and you're going to get swamped by the undead, which is yeah, probably not very good, really. Uh, there's loads of food in there and ammunition. OK, that's wonderful. Get over there for now. Run back over there for now because it is going to get late. I think all our people are coming home, which is wonderful. And we've got that set up as a house, which is marvellous. I think we do need to do this. We do need to do this at some point. We need to find the technical books and get the scientific materials to the headquarters. But, um, oh no, these guys are out and about. Quickly, run home, R run more, run quicker. Move your little legs faster. There we go, marvellous. Um, so yes, we will just take time on, try and survive another night, get through to December. Um, oh, look at that, it's 2029, apparently. The game seems to think the world is going to plunge into zombie apocalypse chaos in the year 2029. Lovely. Oh, that's something to look forward to. <laughs> Won't that be a hoot? Um, yeah, so let's get through tonight. And it looks like, so far, we've been okay. There's one horde coming in. But yeah, that's manageable, I think. That's manageable. Has anybody in that... They've got one pistol in there. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. One pistol is better than no pistols. And... The tower is sort of picking them off. You guys get next door, though, and you can fire at them from there. Um, there we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Right, and then run time on nice and quick again. But yeah, we might we might nip into here, actually. Is it worth nipping into here? It's going to take a long time to work our way through that building. It's going to take a very long time. I would like to think that in there, there's going to be a gigantic pile of stuff. There's going to be so many resources in there, I would like to think. But, uh, okay, maybe then, maybe what we do is, if we run time on... Oh, swarm incoming. Well, that's not good, is it? Um, okay, we've gone right to the edge of the map, I think. We've gone right to the edge of the map. That's right down near the kind of the corner of the map where the train track goes. But, okay, <laughs> that's... I, I don't know, is that where they're coming in from? They might not make it to us in time. Um, no, that's 
That's kind of it there, is it? Oh, okay. I mean, that's good. Hooray, incoming transmission. Operator, do you see these clouds? I've never seen such a big storm. The sky is so dark that the infected might be able to walk in the cloud shadow during the day. We need to be vigilant. Good point. Okay, right. If that is the case... Oh, no. Oh, no. All of our people are going to go wandering about over here and they might get eaten by the zombies. I think... How do we cancel these? How do we cancel that? Cancel the orders. Don't do that. at Pause time for a second. Pause time. Because, yeah, people are going to come out and start doing this. And if the zombies can wander about, then potentially we're going to get eaten. So I would say maybe for today we don't do this. But I'm not quite sure how we issue a cancel command <laughs> to say, please don't go out there because a zombie wants to eat your leg off. Um, is it just that? Cancel. Okay, right. This is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to just pick um, all of it. Yeah, can cancel that. Uh, oh, it's just part of the two orders. It was part of the two orders we had. Okay, and that means really, maybe, can we get 18 people working on the cookhouse? Can we do that? Where are they going? Where are you guys going? Uh, your, are your cupboard squad? Oh, did I send Cubber Squad over there? I might have done that. No, we are going to set a oh, horde spotted. What, where? Down here. Okay. I think we will send one squad. Cupboard Squad can go into there. I don't know why they're using that entrance. <laughs> there are entrances here on the market square. But okay, you go the long way round. That's fine. And then I think we will keep one squad here just in case the zombies do wander in. But I think that's probably what we do for today. Just because of the sort of, um, yeah, the huge storm. And yet you can tell it's raining. It's all sort of uh, stormy. It's not very pleasant. Okay, so for the most part, let's just play it safe, shall we? Um, Take over a vehicle. So we just found a car that looks salvageable. Let's try to make it run again. Um, Okay, there are some zombies next to it. Where is that car? Um, Oh, it's on the other side of the groves in the centre. Okay, so we're not going to get that today on account of the weather and the roaming daytime zombies. Okay, here are some zombies. Horde spotted. Right, so our crew are here ready. They can only fire in front of them, however. How are we going to deal with this? Okay, where are they coming in from? I think uh, squad here. Come down here. Run this way. And we might be able to take them on. They're going to come through this gap. This is fine. Everybody hide. Stay inside the eatery thing. Stay in there. Ah, right. The zombies are being distracted by the towers. They're being distracted by the guard towers. Because, of course, the guard towers are shooting at them and killing them to death. Right, here we go. Sort this out. You are running toward a big horde of zombies. Oh, there's so many zombies. There are so many of them. Okay, right. We need you guys to come back. We need you guys to come back. Again, there are doors here. Please come out of these doors. <laughs> you don't have to go that long way round, but okay, you're choosing to do that. That's slightly inconvenient, but okay, it's fine. We shall muddle through. Right, those zombies are being picked off. I think, is there any one? Possibly two now, I'm not quite sure. Right, they're gone. These are going to be dealt with nice and quick. Uh, you guys head into... Uh, yeah, that one. Head into there, and then you can shoot the zombies attacking that tower. Although I think the other towers also have got their back, which is good. Uh, are we going to make it in time? Okay, we got here just in time for all the zombies to be dead. Don't worry, guys, we're here. <laughs> can we help? And I was like, oh, thanks, brilliant. G glad you turned up, cupboard squad. Do you know what? We're just going to sit around for the day. Oh, they're attacking that building. They're attacking that building. Okay, geek squad, run over into the building. Let's do this. Run into the building because they're attacking our shelter there. So we run in. There's going to be a little bit of fighting happening. And those zombies can hopefully get picked off. Yeah, they're right around the back. Look, there must be a tiny bit there where they can get in. Just get around the back of that building. And now we've got to survive the night as well. Um, we've got a decent amount of ammo. Food is all right, but is coming down. And, okay, the temperature's really, really miserable and cold. Um, so, yeah, that's that's not great, is it? Do the zombies not freeze? Do the zombies not feel cold? 
Can we just make them really cold and they can just like freeze in place? But no, that's not going to work. However, the cookhouse is almost done. And I think that could be quite a useful building to put people into. If we could get another tower. If we could get one more tower. Oh, crikey. Okay, that tower is being besieged. Maybe. What if we pick up that tower? Like, get rid of that one and build it down here. So if zombies do attack the cookhouse, we've got firepower. If we put it just here, look. Like a tower right here. So if they come around this corner... They're probably going to come around here so the zombies can get targeted by these two buildings, or at least that one. And then, yeah, if they come along this way and attack that, we can put a squad in there and then also have a tower shooting at them. Maybe that's what we should do. That might be our best option. Okay, zoom out a little bit. Just keep an eye on the nighttime zombies. Just make sure we don't get eaten. Okay, right, we have an issue. The zombies are besieging the cookhouse. However, I think maybe it's getting to the point where... Yeah, look, it's gone to daytime. So the zombies have retreated into that building there. Okay, who's got the machine gun? You there, Barbara Roberts, whose little kind of portrait thing there would not look amiss in some sort of Tim Burton film. But okay, let's get you into there to deal with those zombies. And then Geek Squad, apparently they're in combat, it says. I don't think they are. Um, you guys can come over here then. You can head over there and keep looking in there and then when they finish clearing those zombies out they can nip back over here and finish looking around the alleged restaurant but what really in real life is the lovely all saints church so let's do that so yeah the house is infected um a little bit of fighting going on let's just get that all sorted please right there we go all right they're all done so yeah you guys can then have you got anything from them? oh Sir, we have found something interesting near the lair that we just cleared. A CCTV camera, still operational, solar powered. Could someone still be watching this place? Destroy it or say hello? No, say hello. Hello. How are you guys? Say hello and wave. We could make new friends. Yeah, okay. That could be quite useful. Right, yeah, you guys come back round here then. So you guys get back into there. There's food in there. We've got more sort of stuff. Oh, crack hang on a minute. Take all the food back then. I don't want her to babysit you doing this. Keep moving all the stuff. And the cookhouse is done. The cookhouse is done. Okay. So what are we going to do? We could mix some... What's that? Oh, that's the grain. So that's mix some of the grain with wood to make four lots of food. Okay. That's like proper cooked tomatoes. Or we can mix three meat, by the look of it, with wood to make five meals. But we haven't got any meat so it's going to have to be the grain and the wood combo. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yes, I'm okay with that. That sounds good. Are those guys in there yet? Yes, they are. How quickly is that going up? Oh, that's painfully slow. Uh, they have found the scientific materials. So now it's just a case of finding everything else in there. So I've got some medical supplies, got some more food. I mean, yeah, that kind of checks out. That checks out. There's lots of kind of eateries in there. And uh, yeah, there's the pharmacy, of course. So, yeah, medical supplies would also make sense. Um, and, I mean, scientific materials in here would be less likely. I suppose there are bookshops. So potentially, maybe you could have got some you know, scientific materials from books. Maybe they're sort of you know, guide books and how-to books and such like. Maybe that would be what that is. I don't quite know. Um, okay, also, just realised it's a bit cold, but people can go back outside again. We've got, what have we got? Seven unemployed. Um, oh, 18, oh, 18 people are in food prep. Oh, because they've gone from, oh, they've gone from built. Were they not? Ah, hang on a minute. That's a little bit much, isn't it? We'll have eight people working in there, which means we now have 17 unemployed people. In fact, we're going to go through that grain pretty quickly maybe have five people working in there uh fields are all maxed out do people work in the warehouses no they do not although the warehouses are filling up a little bit could we maybe get another warehouse in could we get another warehouse in somewhere i mean that pub would be quite a good warehouse but the back of it is facing that street which means that the zombies can attack that side of it but normally we have somebody there so we can knit them next door. That would be, I imagine, quite a good warehouse because it looks quite big. So yeah, if we go to warehouse, that can store 500 
and 29 things. Yeah, get that done. Let's get some people working on that, please. So assigned workers, oh, five out of five. Okay, right, that's quite good. Um, and then, yeah, is there anything else that we need to build? So we've got all those. Can't do anything else with that. Can't do anything with that. Um, barbed wire. See, barbed wire would be quite good. It hinders and injures the infected that try to pass through it. So what if we were to build a little kind of barbed wire fence across the bottom there? And we just won't go that way. But sometimes they might come up that way. In fact, look, there's a little alleyway there as well. Could we possibly, could we get a little barbed wire fence set up there just to cause some pain? And then also get one across sort of like that? Yeah, at the bottom there, look. That could be quite good. Just get some basic defences in. At some point, we are going to have to move ever so slightly out of the market square because we're not going to have enough buildings. So I'm thinking maybe we can build fortifications here to look in those directions. Um, might need something over here, like a wall or something, and then kind of come down here and then sort of block all that off and then have a slightly larger area. That might be what we do. You guys... Get back over here and gather more things. There's loads of food and ammunition and stuff in there. Please bring that back. Um, ah, we found the technical books. So now, yeah, it's just a case of them coming back home. 53% um, through scavenging. Do you know what? Bring them back now. Bring them back to headquarters. And then that means while you're you know, scavenging the rest of that building, we can at least go and you know, do some sciencey stuff. We can get some research on the go, which would be quite sensible. What's that just there? There is there is a bit of metal over there for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe when we stop scavenging, that's what they left behind. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, right, okay. Horde spotted because, of course, it's January now. And, yeah, the sunrise, 7.03. Sunset is, um, yeah, about 10 past, what's that? Sunset is 10 past 5. So, yeah, so it has got, it's got dark. Uh, have the materials come back in? If that's those guys. So you folks, you run over there and then we can drop off the scientific materials, which I think means we could now do some research. Incoming transmission. Here we go. We need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. <laughs> It's a little bit real now. We could store all the books there too. Let's build a research centre and assign the most technical minds there. Okay, right, so now we've got a research centre available to build. I imagine that's down there, is it? There we go. What do we need? Um, so, yeah, it's cost per 100 metres squared of space. Bit of wood, bit of metal. Right. So maybe then that building there would work. That looks like quite a good building. Uh, four scientists could work in there. That seems okay. I mean, yeah, that's a bit big. These buildings are a bit big for that kind of thing. I don't think we need 47 scientists. I think maybe four is going to be a good number. Four should be okay. So, yes, we will designate that building there as a research centre. Um, yeah, we've got the barbed wire. That doesn't stop them going through. It will hurt them, but it won't stop them. Uh, okay, what other things can we build? Uh, metal fences. Uh, how much metal do we have? We've got 61 metal. It's actually not too bad, is it? That's not too bad at all. I mean, maybe, maybe we try and block this off here then, possibly. Are we able to do that? Could we put a gate along here, look, and just keep that bit nice and safe? Or even, uh, is there any kind of access across here? I don't think even if we put, say, a gate here, and then we get access to those buildings there. Maybe that's what we could do. Um, metal gate. Oh, okay, right. The metal gate is quite big. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe it was small. No, it's 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 gigantic. Oh, okay, crikeys. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a big old thing, isn't it? Okay, we might not be able to get one of those in. Unless, what if we put it along here somewhere and then just put a metal fence along that? Oh, hang on. Ah, uh, uniformed services facility. Oh, Ammunition crates, pistol, assault rifle. Right, okay, maybe that is where we need to head next because that could have some quite exciting jazzy stuff. Okay, uh, right, job number one, though. 
Let's get through the night again, shall we? Let's try and survive another night with the horde coming in. Um, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Got a decent amount of ammunition. Got a decent amount of food. I think we should be fine. So let's just run through until February of what year would it be then? Yeah, 2030. Uh, and then we'll see how we get on. Although already have a slight technical issue down here. Uh, right, you guys run down here. Look, in fact, can you even... What if you come out that way? That They're behind the building, which is a bit pesky, isn't it? Get into there, look. Get into there. Um, oh, oh, okay, right. That could be bad. Run past them. Run past them. They're taking damage. They're taking damage. Get inside, get inside. Okay, right, we've got injured people. Injured people. They've been picked off. Russell Carter has taken a bit of a knock there. Russell Carter needs a bit of a lie down and a cup of tea and some biscuits, some really sturdy biscuits. Um, okay, um, another thing, that building has taken damage. Can we please repair that? That would be wonderful. Not right. Oh my goodness me, they're just wandering out. I mean, don't start repairing it right now. Ah, oh dear. Okay, uh, right. They've gone into that building, which is defended. Right. Uh, okay, right. Yep, there we go. Just keep time ticking on. Let's see if we can get through to the morning and hope that everyone's okay. Right, there we go. Morning has broken. It's February of the year 2030. And let's get building, shall we? So repair that little shelter there. That's going to be quite handy. Um, and then we need to get that warehouse complete. Then work on the science facility. They're putting together the little kind of barbed wire fence things, which is going to be quite good. However... Where are the squads? So that squad there, Geek Squad, you go back into there, please, and carry on scavenging in there. And then Cupboard Squad, although you are a little bit beaten up, come round here to this building. Come down here to the Uniformed Services Facility. I like how it doesn't sort of specify whether it's, you know, sort of military or police or whatever, but that is, it's really close to us. It's very close. And if we could... Get, I mean, ammunition is good. We like that. Yay for the shooty bullets. But if we could get pistols and assault rifles, that's going to be even better. I don't think it's going to be a quick scavenge, though. It's a fairly large building down there. So, uh, so yeah, we'll leave them to that, I think. That's going to take a while. I think, where is that in real life? Hang on. Uh, that's All Saints Church. So, yep, yeah, sort of. That's kind of, that's the guild hall-ish, sort of, I think. Uh, which, yeah, it, it's a lovely building. It's very, very fancy. But yeah, it's not really got uniformed people in. But there we go. Never mind. Uh, right. So there is, there's one of the little kind of barbed wire fence things in, which is good. You know, working on that. Uh, that building has been repaired. The new warehouse is going in. I think that is now done, which is marvellous. Uh, right. How are we looking down here then? Oh, they're nowhere even near done. They're nowhere even near finished. And neither are those guys. Out of pistol. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. We Hopefully, we can find one. Hopefully, we can find one in that building there, which would be wonderful. Right, there we go. We have barbed wire down there, which should hopefully hurt the zombies a little bit. Really, we could do with them not even getting to this point. I was looking at where we could possibly set up some sort of gates and towers and things. I mean, over here might be quite a good sort of pinch point. I think that could be quite good. I don't think... Can they get through? There's a little kind of a little archway there. Can they get through under that archway? Oh, they might be able to come through there. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance. So possibly if we say built some gates here, that would stop them coming through that way. And then more gates here, that would sort of secure that side. We would need some more towers, I think. We'd need some more towers in. But I think we could probably make that work. Um, has it gone... Oh, yeah, it's getting towards sunset. Okay, people are coming home. Right, where are the squads? Right, what did you guys find? Just loads of ammunition. Do you know what? Yeah, that's good. That's fine. We like that. We can deal with the ammunition. And then you guys have got more books and medical supplies and everything else. Right, bring them back. Do you know what? Put them into the new warehouse, maybe. You guys come back. Might have left this a little bit late, but never mind. Right, so you lot run home. Here we go. Horde spotted. Sure, it's all going to be fine. Okay. You're not positioned very well. So you guys get into the cookhouse and you guys go there possibly. And then, yeah, that should give us some good coverage. That should give us some good coverage. But yeah, I was thinking, yeah, if we get gates here and gates here, that sort of close off that entire bit 
and you know they can go into that building i suppose but then we can also go into that building and shoot at them and that kind of closes off that bit and uh, we don't have to worry about that little kind of archway and because they're gates we can nip out and you know carry on doing our scavenging and such like without that being too much of an issue but then yeah we've got this bit over here we need a gate over here possibly and that bit's fairly secure and then that bit is possibly a little bit dodgy so we might just need towers over there and people just you know prepared to shoot at people at the zombies maybe that's what we need but okay right again that's kind of planning ahead right now let's get some of the basics done um right so nothing much going on at the minute let's see if we can get through the night without too much in the way of zombie trouble okay we have multiple hordes coming in you guys might be better placed to unless you can fight ah no okay so the squad down here are doing a good job of picking those off but yeah they're, they're up here is taking a lot of damage that tower in particular is being attacked by quite a lot of zombies. I think we get Cupboard Squad to run over here around the back. Look, run around the back. Bit of a surprise attack sort of a thing. Right, they're in there, look, firing. So hopefully the squad over there can deal with them. And then when we're in here, we can shoot at these guys. So those zombies are gone. And those ones over there, they've been taken out. Okay, that, oh, there's still some over here, look that was quite a lot of zombies that was that was a lot of the undead crikeys okay okay right there we go so yeah we know that it's getting slightly more tricky it's getting a little bit more difficult now isn't it um right okay you guys you dropped off all your things as have you right carry on as you were <laughs> go back and do the stuff there we go and um yeah if we could if we could get the science center finished that would be amazing. That would be really, really good. We've gone back to 18 people in food prep. We've gone back to 18 people in there. Can we bring that down, please? Can we have five people in food prep? Surely they're not doing anything. We've not really got that much to do, really. But, okay. But no, we have got, got 21 proper rations, which is going to make people a bit happier, which is wonderful. Um, yep. Okay. Right. So we've got some people left to go and do some scavenging. Uh, metal and wood, again, are getting a bit low. So let's maybe nip over here. Look, it's not too far away. So get some of that and get some metal from there as well. Just do what you can. Just grab some stuff from over there. It's not that far away from us. So we should sort of be okay. I mean, in terms of metal, we're eating from cans quite a lot. Can we save the cans? Can we recycle the cans into, you know, important structural beams for buildings? I'm sure that'll be fine, won't it? That'll be okay. Oh, Geek Squad have completed looking through the groves in a centre, the giant building over here. They're bringing back a lot of food, which is good. Right, so you guys run back, drop off the food, and then immediately they're going back out to pick up some more food, more medical supplies, and some more scientific materials. And I think as well... They're nearly... Okay, they're done. Right, so there's a lot of ammunition and also more ammunition, but no weapons. Oh, game. Game, why would you do that to us? That's just mean. It's like going, hey, look, there might be weapons. Whoa, go and get some new shooty guns. And no, no shooty guns. Botherations. Um, yeah, I'm wondering, yes, if we do move that tower. If we move that tower then the zombies might well come in and come round here, yeah, or down here, and then they can get more firepower. That tower is sort of a little bit isolated. So could we... I don't suppose we can move them. Can we repair or knock it down? Well, how much is it to build them again? What are we losing? Wooden towers, 10 wood, and we get two back. That's fine. Yeah, that's all right. We can cope with that. Um, and then, yeah, put another one, maybe sort of here... That could be quite good. So if they come round this corner, they can get shot at by the tower. Yeah, we'll put one there, look. That could be quite useful. Uh, right, okay, bring all the stuff back, folks. Yeah, okay, look, Geek Squad. I told you to go back in there. Pick up all the shiny things and then bring them back. We'll put them back into HQ for now. I think, though, excitingly, work on our lab thing above our science room is done. Right, how does this work, then? What do we do? Current research, scientific materials. 
various data samples, prototypes, scientific books or documents needed to research new technology. So is that what? Hang on, there's a thing up here. Research panel. Oh, I see. Current research is nothing and we do have some books. Is, is that what that is? It says research time, eight minutes, eight hours, 54 minutes. I don't quite understand. Are we just researching how to research? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> I don't understand that. I'm not entirely sure how that's working, but okay. And we've got four hopefully really clever people in there. Hopefully it's for super smart people. Uh, right, so what can we do? I mean, medical care does seem like quite a sensible thing. Um, chemistry. Ooh, fertilizer, synthetic fuels. Arms production. That might be quite handy. Not enough scientific materials to start research. We need five of them and we've only got three. Uh, okay, I think, that, I think we are bringing more back. I think more uh, you know, such things are being returned. There's one over there, look that we can bring back. Uh, right, Geek Squad, just go and stock up. Oh, oh no, yeah, you go back and grab the scientific materials. You guys have got big piles of ammunition. Bring them back over there, please, because that's going to be super useful. Okay, Geek Squad have the scientific materials from the big shopping centre, so I think we'll nip across the road, look, and pick up some more from that teaching facility. I'm not entirely sure what that is in real life, but yeah, it's unlikely to be anything teachy. It's probably a shop of some kind. But yeah, if we can grab more from there, that would be lovely. And then you guys have got some ammunition. Um, do you know what? Bring that back. Bring that back. Pop that in the big warehouse. And then you can go and have a little scout around here. Maybe there are some more shooty things over here. Maybe some guns or whatever. Okay, it's getting quite dark. Geek Squad are sort of playing a little bit dangerous here. But they've picked up four lots of scientific materials. That's very, very handy. Uh, okay, right. You've got the machine gun. You guys get into the eatery building because that's going to be quite good. I like that building. It's in a good place. Good kind of your range of fire from that building. And then you lot, Geek Squad, you drop off the things at headquarters, please. I assume it ends up going through to the sort of lab anyway. So hopefully... That'll give us enough scientific materials to go and do some researchy stuff. I think, yeah, we're just doing basic research first. I think we're just kind of, you know, pooling our resources and trying to figure out how to do research whilst there is a zombie apocalypse going on. Because you know, I don't imagine Wikipedia's around. And of course, that's you know, where everybody goes for research, isn't it? Wikipedia? Isn't that what everybody uses? I'm pretty sure it's that. So, yeah, we're going to try and figure out how we can do research. Now things have gone a little bit kind of wonkaloids with the world. However, right now we've got zombie o'clock again. So let's see if we can muddle through another night. Right, there we go. Another night survived, which is always very good. Right, so let's get some people back out and about. Yeah, you guys then. Now you've been over there and drained our military building dry, whatever it is, police station, whatever it was. You guys can go over there, look. Nip across the road. And perhaps you can also go there. You can nip that. Oh, hang on, no, maybe we send them to get the car. Maybe. Uh, Geek Squad, let's send you over here. And then when Cupboard Squad have finished looking through that building, and they've dropped off the things they find, they could nip out and grab that car because we have got a vehicle waiting for us. And, you know, having a car would be quite a handy thing. It's going to make things a lot quicker. Uh, food and ammunition, which is okay. That's pretty good. We will take that. Right, so you lot then cupboard squad uh where is the car it was round here there we go it's over there so uh i mean go to here no, that's a warehouse <laughs> not the warehouse cupboard squad there you go cupboard squad come this way um yeah head over there please on your way uh again can you not are there no other doors from this building this building has many many sort of entry points just nip in here and go out the door just there but no, again, though, I suppose that does keep us safe. You know, the zombies can't sort of come through either at us, which I guess is quite handy. Uh, right, yeah, let's get that done. There is a yellow marker thing. What's that showing us? A yellow marker thing keeps appearing down here somewhere. Um, yeah, look, it's pointing at something. What is that pointing at? And then it kind of vanishes. And now it's up here. I'm not really sure what that's trying to show us. There's something over here that's interesting. I don't know. Something down Gold Street, apparently. That's Gold Street. Um, okay, 
I, I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's brilliant, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. Right, how long is that going to take? Ah, we've nearly done that. In one hour's time, I think we might be able to go and pick some researchy stuff. So, uh, right, yeah, let's get you lot. In fact, they've just about arrived there. Um, you guys have picked up not very much from there. Okay, nip next door. Is there like an auto scavenge thing? Is there an auto scavenge button? Because that'd be really handy. Rather than having to individually go, yes, go to that building. Can we not sort of go, right, zone out, say, an area and just have them go and scavenge that particular region? Because, you know, it is a little bit sort of click, click heavy having to go, right, research that building, research that building. Um, however, over here, look, we could go and grab ourselves a vehicle. Right, hello, this is a car. Uh, oh, hang on, no, we're, we're grabbing the car. Right, we've got wheels. I mean, a little bit battered and bruised. I've missed driving so much. This will help speed up our scavenging. And we can run over the infected if they get too close. Oh, yes. Right. So we can now run people over. And we can also store more stuff in the car. And the car does appear to have stuff in. Uh, I don't know what that is. Fertilizer, possibly. Wood, meat, and some more wood. Why is there meat in the car? It was. Is the meat the former driver of the car? <laughs> <laughs> the meat is the people who are in there before we took over. Uh, okay, right, that's a little bit disturbing, isn't it? But okay, right, so if we bring that back round to us, and then we just... Or do we use them to sort of scavenge a bit further afield? Uh, we've got loads of storage space now. Uh, oh, tools. Do you know what? Head over here, look. Grab some tools. Oh, yes. Oh, they are gunning it round here now. I mean, through a building, but that's okay. We'll let you off. So yeah, go through here... This fairly big building. Oh, incoming transmission. Um, Chief, we just found a dead animal. But the thing is, it was literally shred to pieces. It couldn't be just some ordinary infected. There are teeth marks on some of the skin. And it looks like dog teeth. Okay. Do not tell me there are zombie dogs. Because that's, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be fun. We don't want zombie dogs. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I'm not up for that. I'm not going to enjoy that. Right, let's get this sorted out. Right, they've grabbed... See, it's a bit weird. They kind of dropped off one lot and then haven't dropped off the next lot of things. Go and drop off all the other stuff you keep finding, you lot. Keep dropping things off. And then over here, that looks like it might take a while to scavenge because it is a fairly large building. But again, we've got a car. We can nip into the car and then run over the zombies on the way home. Wonderful. The only thing is, if they are scavenging that building, they're not back over here defending the main base. And I would rather have them back. So, Geek Squad, you guys go back over there, look. You head into that building, because that seems like quite a good location. And then you lot come back over to... Do we have to click on the car again to get you back in the car? Yes, okay. So we've got... Uh, what happened to the meat? Where was... Have we put that in there? Uh, no. Where was the meat and the wood that was in the car? We've not left it over here, I think, have we? There were... Okay, right, hang on. Am I going insane? I swear it said there was meat and wood in the car and such like. But now that's gone? Um, right. I hope we haven't left it behind. We've not, like, booted it out of the car or something, have we? It was over there. Um, I don't know now. I'm not entirely sure. We've got little pointy arrows appearing. I don't know what the pointy arrows are supposed to be showing us, game. <laughs> Why are there pointy arrows? I don't know. Right. Gun the car back over here, please. I like the way the dotted line with the car seems like it's a lot quicker. It's a lot more frantic somehow. I don't know. Is it quicker because they're in a car? So if we then just, you know, pull up over here. Um, there isn't a fountain there, by the way, anymore. There used to be a fountain there, but they got rid of it. I think they're putting a new fountain in. They're redoing the market in Northampton. It should be done very soon. Hopefully it's going to look lovely. But yeah, there used to be a little kind of, not quite as grandiose as that, but there was a fountain down there, but there is not anymore. Um, okay, so if we park up the vehicle here and then get the squad out and then put those guys in that corner building there, that's going to be good. Yeah, look, there's an arrow down here now. And then it just sort of, it just vanishes. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Yeah, look, and now it's over here, look. If we just keep moving ever so slightly, it's... What are you showing us, then? There's something really important over here that we should go and look at. 
I, and now it's gone up here. I don't know what the arrows are doing. Okay, never mind. Uh, right, here we go. Let's get through another night. Let's get through April 2013. See if we can make it through to May. Oh, I think I understand how the science works now. I get it. Okay, so we bring back a piece of scientific material. So we picked up quite a few from that kind of educational building. And then the people in the research center, they pour through them and they extract knowledge, which gives us science points over here. So I think now we could do, if we wanted to, look at pistol production, which would be quite handy because we've got the five science points. We've got nine in total now. Um, so that would be quite a good thing. I think that might be quite handy. Get some more firearms on the go. And then if we can get enough, we might be able to get another squad, which would be very handy indeed. Um, construction is a tool factory. Tools would be useful. And food is farming improved crop yield. Oh, but that's very tempting. And it's really quick. Do you know what? It's quite cheap. It's quite quick. Get that done first. Now, do they do research overnight? I would imagine not. I imagine they don't do that overnight because you know, there's nobody in there. Surely that's not ticking down. Surely that's not ticking down. It can't be. Um, oh, heads up. There are some infected dogs coming fast. Engage or run. I mean, I know what I would do, but I mean, yeah, okay, fine. We'll engage and just hope that it's all fine. We're all inside. We're all inside buildings. So unless I've got yeah, incredibly, incredibly pointy sharp teeth, we should be okay. Right. Here come some infected dogs. Oh, no. <laughs> This is terrible. Right, okay, right. The dogs are being picked off. They are probably you know, look quite frightening, but I would imagine they're quite squishy. Okay, there we go. Right, we've dealt with the infected dogs. Uh, right, let's just run time on them. Yeah, is that ticking down? No. Okay, so yeah, they're not doing any research uh, at night time because you know, they're all in bed or whatever, which makes perfect sense. Here come some zombies. Oh, hang on, hang on. They're climbing on that building. We need you guys to get into there, please. Although, now you've come out of that building, they're doing some... Oh, no, they're attacking the science centre. Get into the science centre. Get into this building. Nope, now get into the science centre. They've gone round the long way. Okay, this is fine. They can get into the science building. Okay, so now we're shooting at them. The defence towers are shooting. That tower's got quite a few people around it, but they're able to shoot. Um, they're being shot at by the guys in there. That defence tower's sort of doing okay. These towers, I think are muddling through. We might need to repair the towers. I think possibly they might need a spot of repair. Um, okay, they're picking them off. They're just wandering about. Oh, they're all hiding in our buildings. Clear off, you lot. In fact, hang on, what time is... Oh, it's gone to sunrise. Oh, that would be why. Um, right, you guys get in there. You guys come down here and just clear out these buildings, please because there are infected zombies in there, and we don't like that. They can all just sort of clear off. So yeah, we'll work our way through. We should be okay. I think we should be okay. And then research-wise, yes, we are now getting some research on the go. Okie dokie, right. We've got actual science stuff happening. Right, we're out of grain. Um, We're going to hopefully have quite a lot of grain soon, because our farm's going to be producing all sorts of wonderful stuff. Uh, we'll run into that building there. You guys can go into that building just there. That's going to be very handy. Yep, so you poodle into there. And then, yeah, I think maybe when we've unlocked the secrets of some slightly better farming, we could then look at making our own shooty guns because that would be quite useful with, you know, the whole zombie thing going on. Okay, farming research is now complete, which is all very good. So we can get more yield from our farms, which means we're a bit less reliant on finding all the tin food because we can grow quite a lot of our own, which is wonderful. So that's very good. Fertilization techniques enables the use of fertilizers. Not quite at that point. And food preservation unlocks the cannery. Okay, that could be quite handy. So I think we do want to get that at some point. But right now, I think it has to be pistol production. I think we need to make some more guns so we can get some more towers set up and get another squad maybe. So I think let's get that research underway. It's going to take nine hours nine hours to get that done good grief but there we go and we're down to just two research points again now which is not very much at all so with that in mind is it worth you guys you're still have you scavenged that building what's going on there um unpause time for a second they're coming why have i told them to go into that building 
Well, I told them to do that. Um, you lot, I mean, yeah, we do need to research a med bay as well. Lisa White is not looking too great right now. Angela Harris and Barbara Roberts have taken knocks. I mean, Russell Carter was quite badly wounded, but, you know, he's bounced back from that. He's fine, is Russell Carter. Um, but yeah, they could do with maybe a bit of a rest. Um, I think you guys go to there and have a look around. You've got some stuff on you. So you drop that off over there. Um... How is that build? I thought you were scavenging that building. I thought you were scavenging that, which is where you got that stuff from. And you guys aren't doing anything. Oh, hang on a minute. No, that build. Oh, no. No. Ah, right. There's a little building there. They have scavenged that building. But there's a tiny building just there, which we can't see. And this sort of marker makes it look like it's on that building. Right, I see. Uh, you lot then, nip next door. You can drop off your stuff, which is going to be brilliant. So pop that in there. That's some more tools and more ammunition. Uh, and then can you nip in the car and go and try and find some more scientific materials? Because research is now going to be quite an important thing. We need to get many fancy researchy things done. So, uh, right, okay, there was some along here, wasn't there? Where was it? It was a fair way along, but there was some here, look. There's got to be loads in there. That might actually be, potentially, not too far off where the library is in Northampton. So that might sort of be okay. So if you guys pull up over here, look. Um, oh, they've still got stuff in the car. They've got tools and food in the car. But yeah, if you go over there, look. And then you lot have a scavenge in here, please. That's going to be wonderful. They've... Okay. I don't know what... Right. Okay, they're having some car issues. <laughs> Um, okay, can you drive the car to here, please? Do you have to go in that building from the other side? That's a little bit silly, isn't it? Okay, and then can you drive the car down here, please? And then what if we try and go in over here? There we go. Don't you worry, guys. I'll help you out. I've got your back. It's all fine. Oh, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Over here near Geek Squad. So they're the ones out in the car grabbing all the kind of researchy stuff. There are some people. Hello. Are you okay? Do you want to hurt us? Neutral group. Okay, so what if we break off our little researchy grabbing expedition for now and we get in the car and then we just sort of pop over here and say hi to them? Can we go and say hi to them? We're very nice. We've probably got tea, I imagine. I would have thought we'd have some tea. Can we drive around here and have a chat with them? Um, I mean, how do we chat with them? Do we need to do something particular there's four of them hello neutral group um okay what if we get out is this going to be a stupid thing okay, right and then we can walk over to them so yeah, on my way i didn't want to do that in the car just in case we sort of killed them to death or whatever um sir we have encountered people willing to join us yes absolutely accept it'll mean more food but we're okay for food so yeah accept Welcome aboard, you lot. Welcome aboard. Um, you can get back in the car. We're just going to drive past in our car. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Uh, yeah, well, don't run them over. Don't run the new people over. That's not going to send a good message, is it? Oh, crikey. Okay. <laughs> Who's driving the car? Jerry Young. Do you have a license to drive a car, Jerry Young? I suspect maybe you do not, Jerry. Uh, right. Yep. Yeah, get back down here, please. Help defend. Uh... I assume there are zombies over there, or they've got a disco going on. I'm not quite sure. One or the other. Right, can we drive our car down here? Or is Jerry going to you know, crash it into every single wall available? No, Jerry is doing a grand job down this relatively straight road. Um, yeah, just sort of maybe drive here, Jerry. Just drive into the zombies. Um, or, or not. Just I thought you could maybe just run them over, but no. Okay, right, come over here. There are some people moving stuff around still. All uh, right, you guys get out. Where are the other squad? Oh, they're over there. Okay, yeah, I left them because I got distracted. Uh, right, bring your stuff back to the warehouse and you guys go and sit in there for a bit. There we go. Right, hopefully we should now be able to do some more defensive stuff again. Right, there we go. It's already morning time because, of course, it's June. It's summertime here in the UK in June. So, yeah, the sun comes up at 4.51 a.m. So yeah, the zombies have all kind of hidden. There are some over here now. Where are our friends? Are they moving along now? Right, they're coming this way to join us, which is wonderful because, you know, more people is very helpful. And um, yeah, we do need to get our gun research thing done. 
because then we can actually start you know, crafting weapons that people can then use. At the minute, we, you know, we can go, yeah, you're a squad of people, but they can't do anything. They're just going to sort of, yes, have a chat with the zombies, which won't end well. So I think, who have we got? So yeah, Geek Squad, you nip over there, check out that tiny building, and um, you guys, Covered Squad, you can have a go in the car. There we go. You can go into the car. Have you dropped off your stuff? Yes. Okay, so you nip into the car and the car's driving around already. Uh, Barbara, hopefully you're better than the other chappy who was driving because he was a little bit all over the shop. Um, and I think, yeah, we still do have some materials. Was it there? Was it that one they were in? Um, I think it was, wasn't it? They're over here, I think. Um, so, yeah, we'll nip back over there again if if we can. If we can. How are we doing with the driving? Are we good? Do not run our new friends over. Don't run them over. Don't run them over. Oh, no. It just went through them. Okay. <laughs> For you. Wonderful. Right. And then just, yep, nip into there and complete the scavenging work on that. And we've got probably not very long at all left to get the research done. How long have we got? It is. Oh, it, it's mere minutes. It's a few minutes time. So by the time these guys arrive, we should have that research completed. There we go. Hello, folks. How are you? Uh, right. Pistol production is complete. So what does that mean we can now build? Is it an arms factory? There we go. Produces weapons and ammunition. Okay, so we need some tools, some metal and some wood. We're okay for that sort of. We've got four tools. So where would we want to build ourselves an arms factory. Uh, I mean, three staff in there. That seems like quite a good building, actually. That seems pretty good. Um, yeah, so three staff can work in there. Storage capacity 62. And it requires three of the four tools we have. Um, I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Unless we put it on the corner. Unless we pop it onto the corner there. And then, of course, we can always put people in it if the zombies get a bit angry with it. But they tend to come this way, don't they? Um, so that would also be quite good. Six staff, but it's six tools. And we don't have six tools. We've got four. Unless we can find some more tools nice and quick. I can't see any on the map right now. Can we filter? Hang on, if we go like that, can we sort of filter the overlay? Can we say only show us tools? I don't think I can see any tools immediately marked. There's some medical supplies down there. Loads of food. Loads and loads of food. More medical supplies. There's some fuel, I think. Uh, yeah, I can't see any tools. Nothing is sort of leaping out at me right now. So, okay. Ooh, ooh, hang on. Hang on. There is another building. There is another police building. I think, actually, hang on. Whereabouts is that? Uh, going down there. Yeah, that, that's correct. That is a police building. <laughs> Next to a fire building. That's kind of what they look like. Oh, that's quite good. Well done. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe a trip out there in the car would not go amiss. That could be quite good. So yeah, we'll possibly nip out to over there. That'd be useful. Um, oh, we've only got two research points. Have we got anything we can pick up for two? Ah, medical care. A med bay. Yes, because we haven't got any kind of medical provisions going on, which is probably quite bad in a zombie apocalypse. So yeah, start research on that, please. Get that done. And then, yeah, I don't quite know. I don't know what the best building is to build our arms factory in. I think, just so we can get something on the go, let's put it there. Let's adapt that old building there, which I think is like a, it's many buildings, I think, but I think it's like a cafe type thing in real life. So we'll change that into an arms building. We'll make sure these guys get in. Oh, hang on, have they finished that building already? Uh, nip just there then. Um, yeah, so make sure these guys join us properly, just to boost our numbers. Right, and they're immediately running out to... I don't know, do whatever it is I need to do, which is wonderful. And with that done, we will wrap things up for now. I think we'll finish things up for the minute. I think we're doing okay. I think we are muddling through just fine. I think now we've got the whole research thing set up. That's going to be quite good. We can now start unlocking extra things. And you know, now we can make our own guns. Well, eventually we'll be able to. So that's going to be quite good. And yeah, get some medical stuff going on as well. Maybe change, I don't know, say one of these little buildings into a like a hospital type thing, that one possibly, I don't know. But yeah, try and get that set up as well, which would be quite good. And then eventually, if we could get the great big kind of metal gates over here and over here to defend that whole side of town, that would be brilliant. 
And then, you know, we can get some towers over here, which would be quite handy. So if the you know, zombies do come this way and try and knock the gates down, we can shoot them from the towers. I think that's maybe what we're supposed to do. So try and sort of um, secure this bit over here and then maybe secure that bit with a couple of towers. I'm not quite sure. And then, yeah, get some more gates set up. So just try to sort of uh, give ourselves a little bit more room to expand into in terms of buildings because we are going to run out of buildings on the market square eventually. So yeah, I think eventually yeah, if we could start sort of building defences here and here, that would be quite good. And then we could just nip in the cars and have a drive around. I did notice as well while scooting around the map. There is another car somewhere. Ah, is that it? No, that's our car. It looked like a truck of some kind. I'm not quite sure where I saw it, but I'm fairly certain. There we go. There. Like a little sort of truck. So maybe we could nip out and grab that too. And then we could have two squads zipping about in cars, which is going to make things quicker as well. So there we go. Plenty to do. But yes, it's all looking sort of okay here. Apart from, you know, the zombies and the zombie dogs. Apart from the apocalypse, it's looking great here in Northampton. So I think, yes, we will wrap things up for now. Come back next time and see how we get on. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Infection Free Zone. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> Is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.